Man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this caught me a little off guard. As you can see, the 300 million download celebration ticket banner is officially here. It's officially been dropped on both the global and JP versions of Dokkan. And honestly, I wasn't expecting this banner to come out for at least another like week or so, maybe just under a week. And the reason for that is because last year, with the 250 million download celebration, we didn't get this ticket banner until the official download celebration began, right? And right now, we're in the countdown celebration, and for last year's celebration, we got some other cool stuff, right? We got a Purunga campaign, um, we got some new events, got a new friend summon LR, all that good stuff, but this ticket banner didn't come out until, I believe, the 27th of August, when the official download celebration began, right? So. I was kind of expecting the same thing to happen this year, but apparently not. Bandai had other plans, so it is what it is. And now that it's here, I mean, I honestly can't complain. I'm happy that it's here earlier, uh, but it is like 2 a.m. in the morning and, well, obviously in the morning. And I saw the news, I was like, dude, I gotta film, man. I gotta make this video because they just dropped this massive bomb on us. So <laughs> anyways, this banner is here, guys. And uh, I'm gonna show you the scouter real quick, show you the featured units. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty nice. I can't complain, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So we got the Transforming Goku, Transforming Frieza, um, Android 17, Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I'm not gonna name everybody, I'm just, I'm just gonna scroll through it for you guys, take a quick look. Vegito Blue, Rose, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now UI Goku's in there, a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusives. So basically what you're looking at, as far as I can tell at least, um, is all of the Dokkan Fest exclusive units up until the 250 million download celebration banners from last year. And in addition to that, in addition to that, there's also, you know what, I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so take a look. A lot, a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusives, tons of featured units, and uh, of course, a lot of good ones in there. Um, really, really top tier units, of course, like the transforming units or full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so on and so forth. But on top of that, on top of that, there are also, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, oh, right here, okay. So in addition to all of these Dokkan Fest exclusives that are featured on this banner, there are also hidden inside this banner as unfeatured units, a bunch of LR. So it says here, it has Day of Destiny, Super Saiyan Gohan, which is of course LR Gohan, the original one. Uh, LR Majin Vegeta is here, LR Broly, the STR one that is. Um, LR Goku Black and Rose, LR Trunks, uh, LR Mighty Mask, LR Bojack, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is the Kawaii Great Goku, and uh, LR Beerus and LR Bardock. Now of course, some of the newer LRs are missing from this pool, namely uh, LR Goku and Frieza, LR Trunks and Mai, and what am I forgetting? Oh, of course, Tech Broly. <laughs> the most recent one on Global Tech Broly isn't here either. So um, obviously a few notable exceptions here, but I'm not really surprised because those guys are still like, you know, fairly new, I guess, and they didn't want to include them. I get it. But the fact they included all of these other LRs uh, is a nice touch, man, is a nice addition. Uh, so yeah, this is the banner. <laughs> That's the banner we have for the 300 million downloads uh, tickets at least and uh, I feel like I'm doing all of this out of order right now. Um, I probably should have started from the very beginning with the news releases But my mind my, my thoughts were just all over the place, you know, so I had to start from the most crazy or the most hype thing um, a couple things I wanted to mention in here before we get into the other stuff for this countdown celebration is that, well, one thing that I think a lot of people are gonna be very interested in is the tickets we're getting based on the total number of stones that we spent over the past year, right? And if you guys logged in recently and didn't find a ton of tickets in your box like you were expecting, don't freak out yet, all right? It's most likely not a mistake and they are probably on the way. So you just gotta be a little bit patient. As you can see, it says, you can get one celebration summon ticket for every 50 dragon stones consumed during the celebration or the calculation period. And the calculation period is between August 20th of last year and August 19th of this year. So basically a full year. 
and it says, thank you for your passionate support to express our gratitude. Celebration summon tickets will be sent to all players. So we are getting those tickets for sure. It's just taking a little bit of time to maybe do the calculations properly. And in very tiny text, it says, the celebration summon tickets will be distributed sequentially. And I believe that means it's gonna be based on your ID and more specifically, the last digit of your ID. So I believe the way it usually works is the higher the last digit is, so the closer you are to nine, the later you're most likely gonna be getting those rewards, and in this case, the, the tickets, right? So you just gotta be a little bit patient. It might take a little bit longer for some people than others, but aside from that, guys, let's see if there's anything else I wanna show you. I think that's it. I mean, I showed you all the featured units. I showed you all the, or tell, told you about all the LRs. And, uh, oh, we do have the um, confirmed time periods as well for the ticket banner and as well as the dual Dokkan Fest for the LR Gohan and LR Perfect Cell that's coming up too. So the ticket banner is going to be available between today, basically right now, until October 2nd, which I suspect is the end of the celebration. And the dual Dokkan Fest is going to be between August 26th, so in about six days from now, until once again October 2nd, which most likely is when the 300 million download celebration officially ends, when everything goes away, you know? So uh, those are the two major time periods, I guess. The ticket banner is available right now, guys, and uh, you will be getting your tickets very, very soon, most likely. And then for the Dual Dokkan Fest with the LR Gohan and LR Perfect Cell, that's happening in just under a week. So I cannot wait to hopefully, fingers crossed, pull at least one of those guys, preferably the Gohan, but I'll take both. I'll take both. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, that's the whole ticket thing and the Dual Dokkan Fest. But you know what? Let's actually go back. Let's start with the main news release here at the very top. It says, coming soon, 300 million global downloads, countdown campaign. So this is the lead up to the official 300 million download celebration, even though it really feels like it's already started since we already have the ticket banner. But anyways, moving on, it says, during the countdown period, you can obtain celebration summon ticket every day through the login bonus and the daily mission. And that's awesome. We'll get more into that in a second. You can also obtain dragon stones from the login bonus. Love it. On top of that, the 300 million global downloads reached Celebration Dokkan Festival Ticket Summon, where you can perform summons by using the Celebration Summon Ticket, makes sense, will also be available, which is the banner we just talked about. Uh, in addition, various events, including Dokkan events and Extreme Z battles, will also be reopened. Enjoy Dokkan battle by participating in the events from the Countdown campaign before the 300 million global downloads campaign begins. All right. So number one is the login bonus. We'll talk more about that in a second on its separate page. There's also the ticket collecting campaign where we can get, I believe, up to three tickets per day for a total of 21 free tickets. So on top of the tickets that people are already getting based on the number of stones that they spent last year or over the last year, everybody can also get an additional 21 tickets on top of that, which I feel like is fairly generous on Bandai's part. And number three is the ticket summon or the ticket banner. Number four is the uh, worldwide celebration returning campaign. And I'll talk about that in a second as well. It's kind of a collaborative campaign between JP and Global. And uh, it's got an interesting spin to it, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, number five is all Dokkan events available. Pretty standard for these major celebrations. Number six is the return of some, but not all, Extreme Z uh, battle events. I don't know why they couldn't just bring them all back at the same time. As you can see, it says certain Extreme Z battles will not be reopened. Not sure what's going on there, but okay, I guess that's fine. And number 19, or no, sorry, number seven, it says August 19th, so I got confused, but number seven is a new story event, the new Androids event with the Int Yardrat Goku with the coolest counter in the game, and uh, also, of course, the awakening of the STR Android 18, which I'm personally more excited about. I know that's kind of weird, but if you guys have been watching me for any period of time, you know exactly how I feel about Android 18, so you'll probably understand why I'm so excited about that, but 
awesome story event right there. Really cool new uh, free-to-play farmable unit as well as a great awakening, so I can't wait to get that done. Uh, number eight is quadrupled rank EXP from Quest, and this will carry through until the very end of the 300 million download celebration. So once again, guys, make sure you take advantage of this great, great opportunity to farm up your rank really, really fast because quadruple rank EXP is an absolutely massive boost and it doesn't really come around that often. I'd say at most maybe once or twice a year. So especially if you're a lower rank player, you don't want to miss out. All right, and last but not least, we have prices in trade points. 30%, 30% off in the Bob shop and of course this is everybody's most highly anticipated feature so I'm super hyped about that and let's pop out of here now and see what's going on with this login bonus here so as far as the login bonus goes there are seven days in total in the first five days we get one stone per day and also two download celebration tickets per day and for the last two days it's two stones and three stones respectively and also two more tickets per day for a total of 14 tickets and also, uh, how many stones? Is that 10 stones? Yeah, 10 stones. So 10 stones and 14 tickets for the login bonus, which is not too bad, not too shabby if you ask me. And there's also this new wallpaper feature here. If we go to my lock screen or my home screen right now, as you can see, I have it set already. And instead of your character wheel or your team that you have running right now, it instead has this... Um, what they call it, Super Warriors wallpaper or something like that with Goku, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and uh, Vegeta, and I think it looks pretty dope. I'm not sure how I feel about not having my units on the screen right now. It is definitely a big change that I have to get used to, um, but I think it's a step in the right direction. I like that they're trying different things, and I'll probably keep it this way for at least a little while before switching back, um, if I ever do, so... Yeah, that's a cool new feature, not really something that I asked for or knew I really wanted, but I'm always okay with new features, you know? So there's the wallpaper thing. Uh, for the new enemies, androids in action story events, like I said, it's for the Yardrat Goku, as well as the awakening for the uh, uh, STR Android 18. And we also have a new Gravity Chamber 300G, which basically is a combination of like two training locations. Um, it gives 40,000 extra EXP per training partner um, or training item kind. And it also guarantees a super success in training. So it is a really effective new training location. I don't know how many people actually care about it, but it'll definitely save you quite a few training items in the long run. So I guess that's never a bad thing. And what else do we have here? Oh, this ticket collecting campaign. So. For the ticket collected campaign, it's essentially just talking about the free tickets that we'll be getting every single day for the countdown celebration. We get two per day for login, and then one per day for the daily mission. So a total of three per day. If you do three times seven days, a total of 21 free tickets for everybody. So that is essentially all there is to this ticket collection campaign. And oh, there's also this special worldwide celebration returning campaign and the way this works like i said is quite interesting so instead of working together to you know use a bunch of stamina or finish a bunch of stages or something like that uh, what we're trying to do is basically get our friends to play dokkan again i guess and for every milestone we reach for the total number of returning players and i'm not sure if it specifies exactly what constitutes as a returning player is it like someone that hasn't played the game for you know a day or a week or a month or a year um, I'm not too sure exactly how that works because it doesn't really say anything specific about that here but the point is they're trying to get players who quit Dokkan in the past to now return to the game by offering an additional 20 dragon stones for the returning login bonus and on top of that for players like us who have been here this entire time, we also get rewards based on the total number of players that we can get to return to the game. If we get 20,000 players to return, then we get three dragon stones and some training items. And then for step two, if we get 50,000 players to return, that's another four stones and some other stuff. And for step three, it's 100,000 returning players for an additional five stones and some orbs. 
and then for step five, it's 150,000 returning players. For six, no, sorry, that's eight stones and some Hercule statues. And then finally, for the last step, if we get 200,000 players to return, that's another 10 Dragon Stones and two Elder Kai's. And if you add all that up, that's a total of 30 Dragon Stones and some other additional nice things um, for completing this campaign, which I think we will be able to do because. I have faith in us, but also a lot of the time these campaigns are set up for us to be able to succeed and be happy about it. So I'd say these 30 stones are pretty much a guarantee. Okay, and aside from those things, I think that is pretty much it for all the new stuff that just dropped uh, a couple hours ago, just completely unexpected. Um, I mean, I did expect the countdown celebration or the countdown campaign to start, but I did not expect the ticket banner to actually come out and let me just check real quick actually if I got my tickets I did not okay so mine are still on the way and that's pretty much all I gotta say for today's update the ticket banner is officially here guys and the LR Gohan and LR Cell Dual Dokkan Fest is less than a week away so I have got so much content lined up for you in collabs, summoning videos, streams, gameplay, showcases, so on and so forth. So get hyped for that. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome 300 million download celebration. And uh, if you like today's video, then as always, definitely like the damn video. And if you want to stay tuned for all that great content I just talked about and you haven't subbed yet, then consider hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you'll stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much once again for watching today's video. I will see you very, very soon. And have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.